Okay, guys, welcome. This is the April um, Wave 5 Trade webinar. It's both support and demonstration. The first thing I want to do today is just go back over the, the indicator suite itself. I'm just going to use the TradeStation version now. I'm going to, I'll pull in the, the Ninja Trader as well and the Thinkorswim uh, during the session. Um, but firstly, just want to remind you guys of the uh, stock signal service. Uh, I do do the videos every day. This was one of the uh, videos that I did, I think, probably last week or, or early on this week on CRM. Now, again, a lot of this is recognizing if I zoom out here, recognizing range bound periods, then the start of a trend. Okay. This indicator suite is to trade the fifth wave of the Elliott wave in the Elliott wave move, which is the most, the highest probability move in a trend. Okay. So we've got to be able to identify the trend. Plus also we have to then isolate the wave count. So this is just an example. This is CRM. This was on one of my videos that I produce uh, daily from the Stock Signals membership for Wave 5 trades. So uh, again, we recognize this was a quite a big range. This is a daily chart. And then we start to break out of this range. Okay, we've come back and test it. So this is our trend. So this is where we need to isolate the bar count, uh, the, the wave count down here. And then we get the automated uh, Elliott wave count here, the one, the two, the three, and the four. Again, we're only really interested um, where the wave four finds support in our automated high probability zones, uh, and then tying that up with all the other things. So let's tie those things up now. So as you can see now, we triggered CRM today. Okay, we had a big day yesterday. Let's zoom in more. So big bullish day yesterday, tipped the 6-4 moving average high, again, which is part of our entry strategy. We're looking high tail. We are looking at conservative entries right now, purely because the markets are quite volatile. As I see now, NQ just dived down to test yesterday's close. Um, so what we're trying to do is look for conservative entries. We use the 6-4 moving average high for this but everything is to back it up. So the 535 oscillator, remember the, at the, uh, the bottom here, this is now crowned, okay? So we take the highest point on the wave three to the zero, and basically we need to be 90 and 140%, need to be between there. So this is a good sign that we've actually crowned now and starting to move back to zero. The stochastic has crossed over in the oversold zone and now facing up. We've pulled away from the red zone, which is a 75% probability. We've put the, the risk to reward on from our stop loss just below the wave four to the entry, which is outside of the 6-4 moving average high, uh, also above this, this big, the high of this big red bar. And we entered the trade today. Uh, there's been a bit of indecision, but that's normal. We've had a really big bullish day yesterday. We've triggered today and we're just having a little bit of a, a breathing that the, the volume is going to be uh, lower today and then the automated target zone is up here so that's just a very brief tour we'll do the same on ninja trader one thing i wanted to bring to your attention now on version three there's going to be a uh, false breakout stochastic okay oops q a yes it does andre work for forex and we'll do some forex um, examples uh, in a little while. So, yeah, as long as there's a trend and it pulls back, this will work. It doesn't matter whether it's futures, stocks, or Forex. It really does work on, on all of them. So, the, the false breakout stochastic denotes the yellow dots at the top of the stochastic here on the overbought zone denotes a really strong bullish move. Okay, now this are these are false breakouts. So these, the percentage K and the percentage D keep crossing and then coming back again, which denotes really strong bullish move. Now, when this happens, when the stochastic pulls back against this dotted line here against the false breakout, 
with a wave four and the 535 oscillator, you've got a really high probability that it will want to return back to that overbought zone because that's the strong, it's like an elastic band. It pulls back against it and it wants to return. Uh, so this is part of that strategy now. So we're, we're, we're adding more and more layers to give you confidence and this is a higher probability move. Obviously the way for fine support in the red zone in this particular case, which is a 75% probability, we're gonna go and make a new wave high for high into the target zone there, which is automated. So, so the stochastic's just another layer. But in addition to that, we have these little green and red arrows, okay? So these indicate potential stochastic trades that you would enter outside of the 6-4 moving average high. So those that want to trade the third wave, or we find ourselves not in a trend uh, and, and trading within a range, whether it's on the stock or futures or anything like that, um, we can use this new uh, stochastic and this, I, I would put in a course together uh, to, to develop how to use this stochastic strategy with the way for um, pullback, but also as a separate strategy as well. Because as you can see here, once we've had this um, move, we have the green arrow. We go long. Well, you wouldn't go long right outside the 6-4 moving average high. You'd go long just above this resistance level. Then you've got a big move, and you would use the red 6-4 moving average low as your trailing stop. So if we zoom out, we take another look. Okay, so here, again, we see the green arrow points to a, a potential long. You wouldn't go long directly outside the 6-4 moving average high. You'd wait to break this C pivot, but then you go long. And the 6-4 moving average low, the red moving average, would be your point for your trailing stop. Pretty cool. It works on all time frames, um, and whether it's Forex, futures, or whatever. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. So this will be part of version 3. Now, for those that have already got this, version three is part of your lifetime license and you get all the upgrades. But I will be increasing the price when I launch version three. Um, that, that will probably, the scan will probably be um, in the next month or so after we've done that. Okay, Mark, Mike. And what we will do is the, at the moment, the, um, the, the Wave 5 trade membership site at the moment has the uh, weekly, daily, and 60-minute for both long and short on stocks every single day. Okay? Um, what I'm trying to do is, yeah, what I'm trying to do there, uh, I've opened the Facebook group now, so I'm now I'm doing weekly um, videos on gold on futures i'm trying to build a community so the, the the idea is once i can identify and build a scanner it will become part of that membership okay uh, and i won't be charging any more be 97 dollars a year uh, i'll be doing the videos every day and all i want to do is build a really big community around the wave five trade brilliant okay mike no problem it just takes time because I'm on my own. And it, I tell my developer I want something to happen and he's not quite as, you know, he says, Paul, it can't be done. Uh, and eventually we get it done. So just bear with me on that one. So let's bring... Uh, uh, also do the indicators. Yes, the in indicators repaint. And I'll show you that live uh, on... Um, on the thing or swim in a minute, uh, Andre. Uh, the alerts are downloadable in a spreadsheet each day at the moment, Andre. Sorry, guys. Um, I keep looking to the, the chats and questions. So what I want to do is I want to bring up, let me open a new tab. Let's put it on um, Forex. Uh, 
and let's go for a smaller time frame, probably a five, 15 minute we'll start with, and we'll see where we are with the 15 minutes. In fact, let's start at 60 and work down, because that's the best way to do it really. We need to uh, increase the data series. We need around 60 days when we're um, on shorter time frames for Forex and futures, really, just to give you an idea where the highs and the lows are. Uh, this, is, this is the Ninja Trader version, by the way. Okay. We're well, quite rangy after this move. So we've had a one, two, three, four, five, and then we've gone pretty rangy here. Uh, I can see this is quite a good move, maybe on a shorter time frame. This was um, probably more tradable, as it were. Let's go for the 15 and have a quick look. Again, we're looking for trends. I and mean, if we don't get the trends, we use the stochastic on the, on the version three for potential trades because you can see at the moment euro us dollar is quite uh it's quite corrective it's quite rangy uh in in which case we look to use this new stochastic uh strategy if you like let's go to five minute euro us dollar let's really drill down now okay you can see Okay, so this is five minute euro US dollar. So I've isolated the bar count, uh, the, the wave count at this high here. Okay, or around about there, sorry, I was, I was one bar out. Uh, the main thing for me here, when we're looking at Forex on the five minute here, we've, ice, we've, we've, we've spotted a, a top. Okay, and when we've gone through the 60 and the 15 minutes, and this is what you've got to do because you've got to see where it's rangy. It is quite range bound at the moment, uh, Euro, US dollar. I know when I do my conversions from, from pounds to US dollar each month, it never hardly changes. So, you know, it's quite rangy. So you've got to go for these smaller time frames, uh, and you've got to look for these wave four pullbacks. Now, how do I know this is a good wave four pullback? Hang on a minute. Let me just press F on here. Okay, so how do I know this is a good way for pullback? Because we've got the yellow dots on the stochastic at the bottom denoting a strong bearish move, okay? False breakouts. Now the wave four has pulled back against that um, bearish move into the overbought zone, okay? The 535 oscillator has pulled back within 90 to 140%, and I'll measure that now. So it's very simple. We just use a FIB extension tool. Uh, we go for the highest point on wave three on the oscillator, and the oscillator is part of the, uh, of the Elliott wave indicator suite. And we go to the zero line, and then back to the highest point on wave three. Now on most platforms, you can load up defaults, so I've loaded up templates already to save me time when I'm working these out. So oscillator pullback, I've already loaded that up. Apply, and as we can see here, the wave four pullback pulled back between 19 and 140%. Tick in the box. It pulled back against the false breakouts, crossed over in the overbought zone, tick in the box. The wave four found resistance in the green zone, 85% probability is going to go on and make a new wave five low into the automated target zones there. Pulling back a little bit at the moment, not a problem. We also get the red indicator arrow here saying, actually, this is a good stochastic trade as well. So there's all of these um, pictures moving you towards a high probability trade. So let's zoom in a little bit more and we just talk about entry strategies. Okay, now even on a five minute, three minute time frame or a tick chart, um, 
whatever you're using smaller time frames you're still going to be using the same strategy has the wave four pulled back into a probability zone yes 535 oscillator between 90 and 140 percent tick stochastic pull back against a false breakout bar brilliant tick then all you've got to do is then look for potential entries and stop losses so just to remind everybody on the strategy the stop loss is just above the wave four okay the entry conservative entry is outside the six four moving average low and look for previous consolidation zones here resistance zones there so you might want to go around about there for your entry for example you've got the red arrow pointing down on this candle here saying actually we've now moved a certain percentage and it's going to go back okay now once you've entered you then got to manage your trade at the moment pulling back um, and then so on and so forth so entry strategy is six four moving average low for shorts six four moving average low for the longs okay what does that look like on a three minute So on the three minute, we can smooth things out, um, but I'm not, I'm not a big fan of three minutes on Forex. I'm, I'm a big fan of three minutes on, uh, um, on futures, I must admit. Whoops, hang on a minute. Sorry, I still had the drawing tool on there. Why is that still on? Let me just come out of that window. Let me just change. I've not had that before on the... Uh, there we go. That's gone now. Sorry about that. The drawing tool wouldn't disappear. Very strange. So let's go GBP US dollar, five minutes. Uh, let's go for the high here. Again, you've got a range bound period here. This is not a trend. The trend is here, okay? It does pull back quite deeply there. So you could, in theory, start another trend at that double uh, top, if you like, because if we just zoom in a bit here, okay? We've got a double top here. So again, we'd look to then look for that as the high, the start point of this current trend, okay? Again, red arrow. Let me just zoom in a bit there. Red arrow here, indicating potential stochastic short, okay? And obviously it went south a lot. So we've had the wave one on GBP US dollar. The wave two is pulled back, kept within the Elliott wave rules, and then potentially run a wave three now. It's not printed the wave three yet, purely because it's not reached the criteria of being longer than the wave one. The wave three has to be longer. Okay. So what I want to do now is I want to bring uh, the think or swim version over. This not this the version three isn't ready for this yet, but I just want to bring futures over on uh, the think or swim version. So this is NQ and ES. These are five minute charts, but you want to see if it reprints. Uh, so I'm going to change these to one minute charts. Let me just change that. To be honest, I wouldn't use one minute charts personally, but I just want to show you the reprint on ES. Work, I'm working on a new strategy at the moment on the five minute for ES and NQ, which is working extremely well, isn't it, Jerry? <laughs> so let's bring that over so again this is a one minute chart remember so what I want to do is I want to isolate 
the wave count here. There we go, it's, it's actually calculated now. Um, so what I want to do here, I just want to zoom in a bit. Again, you'll have to bear with me, I'm not a, a big TOS user here. Um, it keeps reprinting at the moment because we're on a one minute. Let me zoom in. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just yeah, just did that. Yeah, it's just because uh, it keeps reprinting on the one minute, and I'm not used to uh, the think or swim. There we go. It does it again. Uh, this. I, I've never used a one minute on the think or swim. I don't know what's what's going off here. Maybe I should use the Ninja Trader. <laughs> right. I'm going to pull this back on five minutes, guys. Sorry, I'm just um, I'm not used to the five minute, the one minute time frame. Every. Um, Right, so let's just pull that off a second because I wanted to show you the reprinting and I think I can show you that better on Ninja Trader because I use Ninja Trader more often than Think or Swim. Let me just uh, zoom in there. Okay, so Jerry, you uh, traded, was it ES today? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, it's been quite rangy uh, with the new stochastic on, on the um, on the version three, you would have been able to trade uh, this short coming down here. Uh, that would have indicated around about probably just above this here or just slightly above there for, for a trade. Um, but again, you, you've got to look for trends. This isn't really a trendy day for, for ES, for futures. Yes, the day was, however, um, when we isolate here, the lows, 2522. Two. Again, Thinkorswim is a little bit different because we have to actually input the, um, the wave count. Give it a second, it's got to do a lot of calculating. No, it won't do it because we're, we're looking back in time. Um, but this was, uh, I've probably done it wrong, this was uh, a fourth wave pullback yesterday and that was the trade. Um, I've just got to isolate it better, uh, but you have to do it on when it's the time to do it. Uh, you've got to do it live as it were uh, let's just bring the Ninja Trader over and put it on Forex and look at it reprinting, shall we? And then we can go on and I can answer questions. Yeah, it's quite rangy today, Jerry. I don't think there'll be a lot of um, a lot of great sort of potential moves here. Uh, and again, I think to be honest, Forex is quite rangy as well. This is the one minute for GBP US dollar. We have these rangy days. You know, we've had the one, the two. We didn't almost, we almost got the three. We've got a low here. You know, have we got a bullish trend? Not at the moment. We've pulled back. We've had the stochastic move, the red arrow down. 
uh, and we've had a nice move down there. Yeah, I, to be honest, you know, with uh, non-farm payrolls and things like that, you will find the preceding days on Forex pretty flat as well. No, Joe, the 535 is a special oscillator. And what it does is it gives you a cross, uh, cross section picture of the distance between the five and the 35 moving averages. OK, so what this does, uh, instead of having the five and the 35 uh, moving averages on your chart, we represent it in an oscillator so that as the the it goes in and out together and apart we represent that with the oscillator there that's what it is now the 535 oscillator is used specifically for Elliott wave now what this does is allows you to measure those pullbacks of that wave four against a strong wave three so when we look at MU, for example, on the on the stocks here, we've had a strong wave for pullback here where the oscillators come down and you can see the distance between the five and the 35 moving averages gets bigger as we get stronger in a bullish move. So that that represented here with these big high green bars now as then we pull back they get closer together and cross we're looking for that to crown between 90 and 140 percent and then it pulls back so then it comes back up as you go on the fifth wave and the fifth wave move the oscillator doesn't go as high it's less in intensity but more it's a higher probability that it's gonna uh, do that purely because um, every all the other rules and observations that we've put in the indicator suite for the Elliott wave have been met and you usually find it's not as exciting uh, but you get that move and that fifth wave move happens uh, it's a good probability it's going to move now MU is not really reacting very well today that's not triggered because we went for conservative entry but it got downgraded today so uh, again what we're looking for now is this is on our watch list. All we do is allow this to find support after it's been downgraded. If it still finds support in our pullback zones, the 140% is not broken and starts to move back up. We just adjust our entry and stop loss strategy. Simple as that. And you can do that on stocks, Forex or futures. You allow that to happen. You look for the support level, look for it to move away and then use your six four moving average high here for the entry position. If it doesn't reach it, you've not lost nothing. If, it's, if it makes some new lows, you wait for it to find support, you readjust and you put your strategy again. Uh, not yet, Mike, we're still doing some testing with this. Um, we're, we're happy with the false breakout, the dots on the bottom and pulling against that. Um, but we're still doing some testing on, on the arrows at the moment um, because we want them to build. So if I give you the code now, it will change next week. I can guarantee it. Uh, so, we, you know, I'm backwards and forwards almost daily with the developer. Um, but it, I'm doing the live training event in Chicago on May the 18th. I'm flying all the way over there um, and it will be ready for them without a doubt. So it will be released because basically those people that attend that live training event in Chicago, I will be teaching the, the new um, uh, futures um, strategy using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. I'll be teaching the new um, stochastic strategy and lots of other um, cool stuff for the day on May the 18th. Uh, so hopefully if any of you can make it, that will be uh, fantastic. I know Tao's coming already and a few others are. So uh, really looking forward to meeting some of you guys and just getting down and dirty and training all day. Starts at eight o'clock in the morning with breakfast and we're literally all day we're, we're training and we, we do stop for lunch as well. 
Um, so that's a little bit of a tour, bit of a glimpse of the new version three, which I'm pretty excited about really. The price is going up. For those that you've bought it already, brilliant. Um, but the price is, the retail price is going up to 449 uh, when version three is um, released. So over to you guys now. What do you want to look at? Forex, futures, whatever. HFC. The horizontal green and red lines. Horizontal green and red lines. Oh no, I just put these in. Damn, for the entry. This is, this is my stop loss and entry. I'll show, you, I'll show you now. I just draw them in. I'm a bit anal that I've changed the colors and everything like that. Uh, you know, I can't automate the entry because sometimes the entry, it, we look at price action and um, the 6.4 moving average high and that sort of thing. It's not just the 6.4 moving average high. We've got to look at um, the, the previous price action as well. So let me just look at HFC. Ooh. You're a bit late to the party there, Jerry. <laughs> oh dear. You're a bit late to the party there. 56 is the target. Right, you went over the pivot. Right, okay. Albert, no, it only works on NT8. I've got to look to the future. NT7 will be discontinued at some stage. NT8 is the, 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 the platform now. But the, the data that you use for NT7, you can use on NT8 straight away now. NT8 is free. You can download it from NinjaTrader. And if you switch your, uh, your, your data off on your NT7, you can just put it on your NT8 straight away. No problem. Okay. Now, at the moment, it's 399. Yes, I'll have a look at QQ in a minute. Um, at the moment, Albert, the list price is 399. Now, at the end of this webinar, I am going to change the sales page to put an offer on $320. It will never be that price again, purely because the list price is going up to 449 in, um, in May, okay? So at the moment, it's $320. Uh, and again, when you're using your NinjaTrader, if you download an NTA, which is free, on your connections, you can connect your Kinetic or whichever data feed you're gonna use the same that you're using NT7, and you can use that straight away. Free upgrades all the time, yes. So even when version three comes out, Albert, you will get it for free. It's a lifetime license, okay? So yes, Jerry, you were a bit late to the party, but a great move. You, we always, somebody, uh, people always ask me this. This is a good example. Is this now going to find resistance at the wave three? Yes, it is guys, it always does. But what you have to do is just give it a little time because if we zoom out here, this is a strong bullish trend, okay? And it's had a pullback and it's had a pullback into a good zone, okay? You can see the false breakouts on the bottom there on the stochastic. This is a strong move. It's had a nice pullback. It will want to make a new high. We've got the false bars already forming on the top and we've not hit the fifth wave yet. So that indicates this is a strong move. It will find a bit of resistance there, but it usually just pushes through, okay?
Okay, triple Q. I don't know whether I've got the um, the data on Ninja Trader. Uh, not that much data. We'll see. It looks like it. Fifteen minutes. Let me just sort out the data series here. We want sixty days. So when you look at shorter time frames, guys, on um, doesn't matter whether it's QQ or it doesn't matter. Um, you need to look back at least sixty days to give yourself a good idea of where we are in a trend. Now, we've missed one really good bearish move here on on the queues. Yeah, um, so we, we were literally. ABC corrections, and then we started the trend down. Wave one, wave two, wave three. The wave four pullback was pretty deep, actually, pretty deep. It just hung on to the red zone, you know, and then we got the green, the red arrow, and it just absolutely went for it. Hit the wave five, smack on, and then went sideways. So where are we white right now? We'd need to isolate down at these lows. Uh, potentially now, potentially, we are on a wave four pullback, but it's quite shallow. There's no risk to reward there soon. Okay, um, we've we've moved away one, two, three. Now the wave four's pulled back, but you can see now on the 535 oscillator, we have not pulled back enough. The stochastic's not pulled back into the oversold zone yet. Okay, so it's not ripe not right for a trade yet if it goes higher now it's not good enough yeah it's got to pull back you've got to get that 535 and or the stochastic now if if 535 is just a little bit out but you've got the stochastic in the oversold zone and it turns you've got a good support level on the way for you've got a good risk to reward then go for it one out of all of that doesn't you know, doesn't spoil the party. It is brilliant if you can get all of them, but not absolutely necessary. But also you can see, because we've had this um, almost double top here, slightly lower high, the 6.4 moving average is all the way up here. So even if we had the stop loss and entry here, there wouldn't be enough risk to reward. It needs to be um, deeper. But what we can do now, because we see on the 15 minutes not quite deep enough, but we recognize this as a reasonable pullback. Okay, we can perhaps look on a five minute and see what it, see what it looks like. Okay, now that gives us a bit of a better picture. Okay, so again, we just want to look at isolating here. Now, We've gone 15 down to five. This gives us more options at this moment in time. Okay. Now, one caveat here, just be careful. We've got, let's measure the 535 oscillator on the five minutes. So we're going highest point on wave three. We're going down to zero and back to the highest point on wave three. I'm gonna just put on then my template. For oscillator pullback. It's just there, okay, it's very close. We get a deeper pullback, we go to 15 minute, okay? So then you've got to think about entry on the five minute. This late on in the day, you know, I think I'd be a little bit careful. Um, but you've got to take into consideration these previous failures, okay? These are decision points in which the market said, no, I'm going no higher, I'm going down. That's happened twice, okay? Now we could be on for a third time. So do you really, really want to go this late on in the day? It looks good. We've got a little bit of a false breakout here on the stochastic. It's tipped past the 140%. It comes slightly lower probability to me. 
um, because we've got these these here. Sometimes when you go from 60 to 15 to five, you find some really good trades. But in this situation here, I think I'd stick to the 15 minute. Does that make sense? One of the things I'll be talking about in Chicago uh, is how to use these multiple time frames to find the sweet fifth wave trade. I need my tea. Uh, you can bring your laptops and use it, yes, but I'll be on a dirty, great big screen with mine and I'll be doing it all, but you can follow it absolutely because we'll be live trading as well. So you, you can bring your laptops, absolutely. Um, there's only going to be a maximum of 20 people there though, because I want it to be a classroom environment so I can get around everybody, we can do lots of teaching and really nail it you know, really nail it for the day. Um, that, that's, that's my plan. Never going to do any of these big shows or anything like that. Have you got the link, Suk? Okay, cool. It should be a great day, honestly. Uh, I've, I've already started planning. <laughs> so um, I did have a mental block, but now it's looking really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. It'd be, it'd be really good to meet I meet a lot of people and you will come out a fifth wave trader. Absolutely. 100%. I do. Yes, James. Um, the, in the trade room each day, Paul's pre-market prep. Uh, I'm not shouting out because I've been trialing this E-mini, um, the ES and NQ now since January. Um, Jer I don't know whether Jerry's still in the room or not. Uh, shout out, Jerry. There's too many people here I can't see yet. So Jerry's in the trade room with me and a few others. Now, I've started to shout those out now uh, because I'm, I'm confident in those trades. Now, we don't get them every day. We didn't get one today. We had a beautiful trade yesterday. And I think the day before we had an NQ and an ES. Um, so yes, in the, in the, um, in the Paul's pre-market prep, we have to allow them to set up. We do the pre-market stuff first for an hour before the session for the market opens. We set up some stocks. We look at the futures. We see where we are, what we're going to trade. What sort of thing we're reprinting now. Look, um, and then, then I leave you guys to it. I'm in front of my computer all the time. When things start to set up, I just shout out. And we've even now uh, start, started a WhatsApp uh, group for the trade room as well. So uh, if you're away, you know, some of the guys work. Uh, if they're away and I see something set up, literally on WhatsApp and it's done, it's in. Really, really simple. Does that answer your question, James? Yeah. Uh, Louise, NVDA. Mm. <laughs> We've talked about this a lot in the trade room just recently. Uh, I mean, MU let me down today, I must admit. Let me just put that on the daily. I really don't like the price action at the moment on NVDA. Let me just, um, I need some more data there. So again, one year is not good enough. I go a thousand days on a daily time frame. Lo and behold, that's where we are. So we're waiting for this pullback to continue, but it's quite deep, guys. It's quite deep. You can see on here, on the 535, this is god awful uh, trend at the moment really really is um, what i would look for is a longer term swing um, let's just just isolate down here a little bit actually that's how it's performing when we look at these lows here these are quite good pullbacks here wave four fifth wave boom yeah start a new trend it actually just annihilates that one and then recently, it has been really, really ugly, um, but it's hit the targets. You, uh, that would have been traded off the 60 minute. Um, but it just goes to show you uh, in the last sort of year, there's been 
some good moves, yeah, that, that have been tradable, um, Louis. Um, but at this moment in time, it is really, really tough to trade off the daily. Let's have a look on the 60 minutes, see what it looks like. Some big daily ranges at the moment, that's the problem. Again, if you're going to the 60 minute, you need 60 days. And as you can see, at this moment in time, we are in a corrective phase, but I will just uh, isolate the wave count at the top there. And as you can see, ABC corrections all over the place. Bias, bearish, how do I know that? The crowns on the SPY 35 oscillator got deeper. Okay, so if I just put an arrow there, Okay, so we had this um, divergence, if you like. So we've got this ABC correction at the moment. We're not in a trend at this moment in time on the 60 minute intraday. And this just reflects where we are on the daily. We're getting these really big daily ranges here. Uh, and we're just using the roller coaster ride there. Um, we, we are getting stochastic trades on the new. Let me just zoom out a little bit. So here, right. So green arrow through the 6.4 moving average high, we move higher, okay? Red arrows through the 6.4 moving average low, move lower. So when we are not in a trend, and we're not in a trend intraday on MBDA or even on the daily at the moment, we're going choppy. We've got this roller coaster ride of the stochastic. So the idea of me putting this uh, strategy within a strategy in version three is, if we've not got a trend, we won't get a fifth wave, but we still want to trade because if we've got this roller coaster rider from going from oversold to overbought to oversold to overbought, we need some good indications when, when, when the trades are going to be good. So if we've come from oversold and we get the green arrow and we get above the 6.4 moving average high, we've got a little trade going on, okay? Conversely, when we're coming from overbought and we get the red arrow, we've got a trade coming on. We get the red arrow on this candle here, we go short, okay? Once it comes back against and hits a 6.4 moving average high here, we get out, but also then that gives us another signal to go long. Uh, it wasn't such a great move, but it still would have made money, okay? I can look at AMD. I wouldn't short MVDA at the moment. No, um, I, I'm not liking it. It's too, at this moment in time, we are contracting in price action. You, now we've had that divergence on the 535, it's going the other way. Okay, so now we're getting this sort of action. Okay, we are finding some sort of support and Let's just draw a few lines in there just to show you what I mean. Uh, we're getting this contraction here. Draw another line. Okay, so if this finds support now uh, and we break out above these sort of levels, I'd be looking for an intraday long. Um, on, on NVDA, but markets need to give us some support in that. <laughs> and at the moment, we are, <laughs> tech stocks are suffering at the moment. Uh, AMD, another one we've been discussing in the trade room. Uh, let's go back to daily, AMD. So we've got the false breakouts on the bottom on the daily, indicating a strong bearish move, guys. Okay, you can see now this oscillator peak is almost as high as this one. So AMD is suffering again as well. Uh, quite choppy, really. I would say we need to start the wave count here. Uh, why? Because we've had this big gap down 
this this move okay we found a low and then we've pulled back massively almost at the top there okay so let's have a look a closer look so what we've done now is yesterday we had an amazing day okay uh, but one day that's a one day wonder okay until until we pull back and find um, some sort of resistance in here to go short again this just doesn't this doesn't bode well for a long okay one of the things i talk about in the trade room and one of the things i'm going to talk about in uh, in chicago is looking for wave four failures if a wave four fails we, we the this bearish move is over okay now where that fails and some of you will remember from your boot camp okay is if it goes past the wave one okay so if this pullback goes back beyond $11, for example, even though it's in the red zone, that is classed as a failure. That will disappear. This will be an ABC correction and potentially, potentially, we will be in a, a potential trend reversal there. So it's, you know, some of the things that we look for when, when I'm in the trade room as well is we, we look for way for failures um, that actually then gives us an idea to go the opposite direction doesn't happen all the time but when it does happen that trend is over so amd not really tradable at the moment we've got the false breakouts on the bottom here denoting a you know potentially a really strong bearish move uh, and even though we gapped up today we, we were at resistance at 10 15 so not looking great L E N, let me just have a cup of tea again. Green, yeah. This is my um, spy heat map mug. Green, bullish. I have got a red one, I don't get it out very often. Len. No, I've got, uh, I live in Spain. Uh, there's a great tea here called uh, Poyomenta, um, which is some flowers and um, mint. And it's really, really nice tea. Poyomenta. Ooh, that's a big move there. I just want to get some more data on that. Okay. Quite a parabolic move. It, you see where it hit the fifth wave here before, uh, came back down to test the previous wave for low, and then it shot up. So I'm going to isolate the wave count here. And that's where we are right now. The pullback has been severe to say the least it's hanging on the entry that see that the this again this says no to me and one of the things soup um, when you when you uh, come to chicago this way four is not it's broken the rules here it's broken the rules in the 535 and it's got the false breakout dots at the bottom so it's it's a weak move okay so what we have to look for now is that this really is no longer a trend it went sideways for too long okay so we're going to isolate right back here and is there a potential trade on the daily absolutely not let's go to the 60 minute is there an intraday um, opportunity if you like let's go to the data again uh, and we want to go 60 days. So what we're looking for on the 60 minute here, 
I'm looking for a start of a trend here. Now, obviously, we've not got the wave four pullback at the moment. Forget that. That will repin as this pulls down. What we're looking for here is a one, two, three, and then a four coming back. That will reprint once this pulls back below this pivot point here. Uh, we're too early in this. I don't really like LEN on the daily. As I'm looking on the 15 minute, again, it's a bit late in the day to trade it right now. Um, just this give us a better picture. We've gone through there already. We've gone range bound. We start to move out the range there. No trade there either. We've got, you know, because we're longer than the wave one, that's not printed. There's, I, I you know, sometimes, and I say in my trade room, I try and find reasons not to trade. If I can't find reasons not to trade, I'll get in. But in this situation, I've gone through the time frames, and there's no really good uh, setups, as it were. Let's go to SPY um, on the daily. Let's use something different. Let's go to um, Trade Station. I've been using that too long now. Let's go down here. Um, what's on this chart? SPY. Another ugly looking chart. Did you say daily? Yeah. Let's zoom out, see where we are. This is the markets right now. Very, very corrective. You know, you get this nice trend and then the Trump months, I call them. February and March, the Trump months. Two thousand eighteen, the Trump months. So this is where we are with spy on the daily right now. And now it's an ugly wave four. It's what we call a complex wave four. Okay, we had a very simple wave two. Uh, oh, hang on, I forgot to take. Sorry, every single platform has a different uh, way of isolating the wave counts. And to be honest, I think I'm going to isolate it here at the start of this big move there. Because I know from other platforms it's broken the wave for and that's probably a better. So what I've done, I've isolated it here, guys, um, purely because this is the big move, continual move. That's the wave three on the daily, okay? So I've gone a bit closer. Now, now this is the true picture of where we are. We've had this extremely complex wave four, and we've tested those lows again. Uh, we had a great day yesterday, recovery. But the way the markets are behaving at the moment, very, very difficult to trade a lot of things off the daily, um, especially stocks that follow uh, ES and SPY. Um, so at this moment in time, there could be a long, but it's not a fifth wave long, okay? Because the wave falls pulled back too deep. You've got to look on all the time frames at the moment. Uh, you've got a, you, you know, we've got a double top and a double bottom here. It's a range. The only sort of trade you're going to find on um, on SPY is trading within the range. And this is where the new uh, stochastic strategy comes in. Um, I think really... To say it's a wedge is quite difficult because of the daily wages. Yeah, it's more like a triangle. We've got, let's, uh, the, you can't really see it here. Let's just go to the 60 minute. Now I've got a, again, trade station, I've got to think how to do this again. So we're going to go to minute 60. And we're going to look 30 days, 60 days back.
Yeah, that's right, Mike. Yeah, it's very, very risky trade, uh, especially for a fifth wave. Um, I, I trade it off the stochastics personally. Uh, you can see when you get version three, uh, some of these moves have been pretty good here. The latest one, bullish move, the bearish move here. Uh, that bearish move fizzled out, but you wouldn't have lost any money. Bullish move worked out. So as you can see, if you've got that ugly looking chart on the daily, it's not really in a trend anymore, you can use this new stochastic um, to, to trade. So what I wanted to do is look at this double bottom pattern here. So let's go remember where the drawing tools are now, horizontal line. Okay, so it's a technical double bottom, three percent, yeah. Um, and then we've got a we've got a top up here. There's just no there's no fifth wave trade, put it that way. But there are stochastic opportunities in this range, and you've just got to a got to be patient. But when markets are like this. Again, uh, you will see this roller coaster ride on intraday where you can trade. See this red arrow here? Look at that bearish move. The bullish move wasn't fantastic, but then we got the bear signal again on the stochastic on SPY here. Uh, and that lasted one, two, two days. And then we had the bullish, bearish fizzled out. Bullish was a little bit and then a big bear move. So there's the stochastic opportunities when we don't present ourselves a good trend. But you are right, Mike. If that oscillator pullback fails, you don't get that fifth wave trade. You stay away. Andre, the price for the indicator suite is uh, $399. But straight after this, for the next 24 hours, I am going to go on and change the price to $320. I would, I would advise you to take advantage of this right now, because as of May, when version three comes out with the extra stochastic strategies and everything, it will be $449. No word of a lie. I spent too much money on it. It's got to go up. Okay. If you buy it now at the, at the discounted price, you get a lifetime license and you get all the upgrades. Okay. I am going to give you the, um, the link now in the chat while I remember, um, bear with me. But as soon as I finish this webinar, I will go on to the sales pages and change it to $320. I will do that and it will be ready within five or 10 minutes because it's that quick to change. Um, but please do take advantage of it because it'll never be this price again because I'm putting it up. Um, so. Let me just bring the page over to show you. Now, this is the page. Choose your platform and then you go through to the video tour and then you can um, just close that you can purchase there. So I will put the link in the chat now. So you go to the store, the link is in the chat. I'll also put it in the question box. Okay. And then if you want think or swim, click on video tour. You can watch a video tour. And then when you press get it now, you'll see at the moment, the standard price is $3.99 for the lifetime license. As soon as I finished, I'll go on and change it for 320 for all the platforms. But when I get up in the morning, European time, I will change it back to 399. And then in May, it goes up to 449 because we're getting all those extra strategies involved, uh, included in there. Okay, so you got the link? Cool. Now, the other services that I have are the community for Wave 5 trade we're building, okay? So we've got a stock scanner membership. It's $97 a year. 
Um, it's not a great deal of money, but we get, and I'll put the link in there for that. But what the members get is there's daily videos. I MU today, Netflix yesterday, day the day before. Uh, but in the members area, you get click on potential long trades, and then for today, all they do is simply click on the image and download the spreadsheet. Okay, and not, that's for longs. There's obviously the same sort of thing for shorts as well. And then on the spreadsheet, we get potential fifth wave trades. Now this is raw data. Not all of them are spectacular, um, but this is why we have these webinars uh, and why I've started the Facebook group. So these, on, these are the potential longs for today on the weekly, okay, on the daily, and lo and behold, there was none on the 60 minute. <laughs> so, uh, so that's, they get that every day. And also now we've got a f members Facebook group. So this is the members Facebook group. So I put the CRM video together ooh, um, three or four days ago, but then last night it was really co close to entry. So I reminded everybody in the Facebook group, original video, new chart, the same with DHI that's triggered today. Uh, the new Micron video today, uh, Netflix. Uh, this um, this is the this is the ES trade that I traded the other day. The fifth wave move smashed through the target. This is a new strategy I'm developing. You see the 535 crossed between 19 and 140 percent. Wave four green zone. Stochastic crossed over outside there. So you're going to go along just over 2612. Boom. Yeah. And that you get three, two or three trades, and I'll be calling those out in the trade room um, starting from next week, I think. Um, so, and then I do lots of different videos. So, this was I do a weekly technical outlook for gold using the Elliott Wave indicator suite, and the same for futures, all that sort of stuff. A community, and eventually in the next month or so, people will be able to put questions in there, and then I'll do a weekly video answering the questions. Okay, so that's all pretty cool for the um, the memberships, ninety seven dollars a year, and then the trade room is forty nine dollars a month. That's all, um, and it's a pre market prep, and I know quite a few guys in here right now are in the pre market prep show. Totally different strategies. We look for wave four failures. We look for breakouts. And obviously, I'm calling those ES and NQ trades out. Um, now, I'm really confident with, um, with that strategy now. Let me just bring up that page to show you. Every day, an hour before the markets, we start. And that is the link there that's the link for this page here well i sorry i got loads of screens uh so it's 49 dollars a month or 490 for the year uh that's mark i don't know who's mark's in right now that's don that's michelle um but we use a special breakout strategy and uh, we look for up gappers down gappers calling out the futures trades, that sort of thing. So really great value. Um, so those those three services, really. Lots of stuff going off. Uh, the main thing is get the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite while you can before it goes up. Join the community. So it's not just the signals that you get every day. Uh, it's the community. We're trying to, I'm trying to build there, trying to do more videos, uh, allowing people to ask questions understanding the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, come to Chicago and meet me and spend a day with me. That'd be brilliant. Um, you know, and so that's, that's the main thing. I'm trying to build this fifth wave um, community, getting people to trade that high probability move. So Chicago event, um, 
we talk about the new strategy, the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for futures and bonds and smaller time frames. We stream trading the fifth, consolidating the strategy for medium and longer term trading investing. We're going to be combining multiple time frames. I just touched on it briefly today to find those ultra high probability fifth wave moves. We're going to talk about blend investing, something that I do with my inner circle of traders and investors. Um, what I want to do is just pull out a little bit of what I do with those and use the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite to show you how you can do some blend investing as well. So longer term, I would do lots of Q&A learning. Uh, you know, we're going to get down and dirty with the new version tools. Um, there's some live trading. It, you know, we've got, it includes breakfast and lunch, that sort of thing. Um, so I know a few uh, have already signed up, Suk signing up very soon. And so if you want to come to Chicago for the day, I've got a, and a with this Hyatt House Hotel, uh, I've got a good uh, room rate as well if you wanted to stay over and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, lots going on and trying to build this um, community and getting people trading that fifth wave move. Okay, guys, quite late here. Any more questions before I go? You've got the um, the links that you need. I am when I, as soon as I finish, I'm going to go on and change those prices. Give me ten minutes; it'll be fit. Be ready. Any more questions before I go? Um, what you're talking about, Ninja Trader, Albert? Thanks, Jerry. Thanks, Suk. Thank you, Peter. Yeah, so um, I will. The, the, the lifetime license gives you it for, for two PCs only. If you want to buy it for extra, I just charge an extra $100 for um, sort of multi platform licenses. But I know a lot of people use two different computers when they're using Ninja Trader. So, and we can only use the, the ID. If it's Trade Station, you can use it on two different computers because you've got the license key, but with Ninja Trader, it's slightly different. So you can use it with up to two for Ninja Trader. Okay, Albert. Thank you. Well, it's night now. I'm going to change these prices and then come back away from these screens because I've been in front of them now for about 12 hours. <laughs> I get a suntan from all of these screens. So any more questions, guys? Thanks for turning up. It's been great. There'll be another one at the beginning of May before I go to Chicago. Joe, Chicago is $500 for the whole day, which includes breakfast, lunch, uh, whole day's training with me. Uh, and then um, what I do then is uh, everything will be recorded and you will get that as well to go, you know, so you've got it as well. Um, uh, I think to be honest, I think it's very reasonable for a whole day with me. Um, you know, it's going to be quite intense, quite good. I can help. There are videos, Lewis, for installation uh, for each platform. So when you do purchase, there's automated emails that come out within a couple of hours with the code with installation videos um, and all that sort of thing. And if you've got problems, you just email me and I help them sort them out. Uh, I know a lot of the guys in here that already have the indicator suite will attest that if they email me with a problem, especially on setup, I get back to them and sort it out as soon as I can. Because I want you using it. So the the links for Chicago are in uh, is the last is the third link uh, further up in the um, 
in the thing, but it is a full day. It's not one of these days where you start at 10 o'clock. We start at eight o'clock with, with breakfast, Joe. Um, and then we literally were training all day, got coffee, tea, stop for lunch. We get back, we do another four or five hours in the, in the afternoon. Uh, full day. There's, there's a lot to cover, a lot to do, but then you won't, won't be left alone. What you will do is uh, about a week or so later, when all the recordings are done and everything like that, you will get that to keep. Okay. So you'll be able to literally on that link there, uh, reserve your place um, for $500. Okay, guys, if that's it, I'm going to get going. Let me just stop the recording first.